Hello guys, my name is Julia and today we will learn vegetables. Firstly, let's uh, check your pronunciation. I will pronounce vegetables and show you pictures. Please repeat after me and then we will see how it is possible to use this vocabulary in which situations. So let's see. Pomidor Pomidori. So first one is singular, second one is plural. If there is no second noun, it means that we don't really use plural form. Pomidor, pomidori. Agurets, agurtsi. Agurets, agurtsi. Kapusta, kapusta. Kartoshka, kartoshka, kartoshka. Luk, luk. Chisnok, chisnok. Markov, markov. Или морковка, морковка, морковь, морковка, перец, 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 перцы, 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 брокколи, 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 кабачок. Кабачок, кабачки, кабачки, спаржа, 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 баклажан, баклажан, баклажаны, баклажаны, тыква, 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 тыквы. Тыквы, тыква, тыквы. Кукуруза, 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 кукурузы, кукурузы, кукурузы. Редис, редис, редис или редиска, редиска, редиска. Горох, горох, горох. Фасоль, фасоль, фасоль. Гриб, гриб, грибы, грибы, гриб, грибы. Окей? Okay. These are the most used vegetables in Russian language. Now let's see how we can use this vocabulary. Like with fruits, we make uh, the adjectives from uh, the nouns and use them very often. So let's see. Um, овощ means vegetable. Овощ, um, the adjective will be овощной. Овощной. For example, овощной суп, салат. Суп means soup or salad. So it means salad or soup from vegetables. We don't specify from what vegetables, just we say in general. Овощной суп или салат. Томатный, томатный. In this case, томат, it's a... Uh, uh, Tomato. We don't say pomidorny. No, it's wrong. Doesn't exist. Tomatny soup, sock, sauce. So uh, soup or juice or sauce made from tomatoes. Agurechny. Agurechny. Agurechny salad, sock, smoothie. 
or um, masca lacion. Masca, uh, it's a mask for your face. So we are talking about beauty stuff. And lacion means uh, lotion for the body. It's very common um, that they do cucumber mask or lotions. Girls will understand me. Otherwise, agurichny salat, not very commonly used, but it's possible to say if the salad is really just, just cucumbers over there. Sok smoothie, yeah, also very common uh, drinks. Kartofilny soup pirog. Kartofilny. Kartofilny. Potato. Uh, for potato, we have two words. Kartofil i kartoshka. So the adjective kartofilny is from kartofil. Kartofilny soup, pirog. Um, soup or a pie from potato. Very common. Lukavy soup, sauce. Lukavy. Lukavy soup, sauce. Chisnochny sauce. I think for garlic this is the main um, <laughs> the, the, the main I don't know way how we way we use adjective is with sauce. Soup not really possible. Uh, drink I don't think so. So chisnochny sauce, uh, garlic sauce. Next one, markovny pirog or markovny sok. The pie from carrot or carrot juice. Markovny pirog sok. Perichny sauce. It's from pepper. Perichny. Perichny sauce. Again, I don't see other options where we can use this adjective. So it's mainly sauce made from peppers. Soup, juice, we don't use. In your country, maybe. <laughs> In Russia, no. Kabachkovy. Kabachkovy. Uh, this is a um, uh, masculine adjective. Uh, for uh, ikra, uh, ca caviar, it's um, feminine. So it will be kabachkovaya ikra. Very common in Russia. It looks like this. Aladi. Aladi, uh, it's plural form, it's plural. So it will be kabachkovye aladi. Aladi, it's another very common uh, dish. Looks like this. Again, very common in Russia. And we use, we eat it with mayo or sour cream. Um, Baklajanavy. Baklajanavy, again, it's masculine, very common also, um, I don't remember how it is in English, caviar. Baklajanavaya ikra, looks like this, delicious. Uh, for these two adjectives, honestly, I don't see in which circumstances you can use them. I, I uh, give you examples how we in Russia will use these adjectives. If you, uh, if you have this type of soup, of course you can use it, but in Russia we don't, we don't have uh, these types of soup. Next one, tykvinny, 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 soup or pirog, kukuruzny. Kukuruzny. Here the most common um, common usage is to say kukuruznye chlopya, corn flakes. You cannot really say chlopya is kukuruze. We will understand you, but we'll never say like this. We say kukuruznye chlopya. Next one. Garochavy soup. Garochavy, garochavy soup. Грибной soup, sauce, pirog. Грибной, грибной. Фасолевый, 
фасолевый. Фасолевый суп. And last one, спаржевый. Спаржа, asparagus is not, is not very common in Russia, so I don't, there is an adjective, it exists, but спаржевый салат, probably you can say it, but салат со спаржей или салат из спаржи probably will be better, but спаржевый салат, also why not? So, soup, pirog, if it exists in your country, feel free to use. Then, um, when, we, when we use two uh, vegetables, for example, if we are talking about sauce and there are two main ingredients, the, we, the first one we will be like, it will be like an adverb, for example, tamatna чесночный соус томатно чесночный соус so the first one will be like an adverb second one uh, is an adjective um, mainly for sauce for soup I don't I don't see it um, I don't see other options but for sauce you can use two adjectives uh, then um, Салат из помидоров, огурцов, лука и чеснока. If the salad consists of several vegetables, um, we say салат из. Салат из, the salad from, and then you, um, you give all, all vegetables possible. Брокколи редиска, there is... Um, there are no adjectives for broccoli и редиска. Broccoli, by the way, we don't decline at all, like kiwi. Don't decline, it stays the same. Редиска, there is also no adjective. If you want to say salad, you say salad с редиской. Salad with radish. What is the difference between is and s? Here, when we say salat is, then we describe all ingredients or the main ingredients. Here, salat с редиской. Salat, it means, well, it's a little bit vague, um, vogue, vague. Uh, salad with radish. And then there are other options. Uh, there can be other ingredients, but you want to just stress that Radish is the main ingredient, ingredient of this salad. Otherwise, you can say salad is редиски, огурцов и лука. Or you can say salad с редиской и помидорами, for example. Okay? So, these are adjectives. Uh, now, let's, um, uh, let's talk about the way of cooking the vegetables. What vocabulary we use when we speak about uh, cooking? Now let's have a look how we usually cook these vegetables and also make adjectives from the verbs. And the first one is жарить. It's a verb. Жарить. The adjective will be жареный. Жареный. Fried. So, for example, жареная картошка, жареная картошка, жареные грибы с луком, жареные грибы с луком. For example, каждый вечер я готовлю жареную картошку. Every evening I cook fried uh, potato. Good. Next one, варить. Варить is a verb. Adjective will be вареный, boiled, вареный. For example, вареная картошка, вареная картошка or вареные овощи. Again, this, all these adjectives will be masculine, so uh, please change the ending depending on um, noun. 
So овощи plural, that's why it will be вареные овощи. Запекать. 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 For example, запеченный. And here the, there are plenty of options uh, what you can roast uh, in the oven. Запекать запеченный. For example, запеченные баклажаны. Запеченные баклажаны. Next way of cooking is тушить. Тушить. Тушеный. Тушеный. Тушеная морковь. Тушеная морковь. Тушеные кабачки. Тушеные кабачки. And um, oh, long one. Uh, next way is консервировать. 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 Or the adjective will be консервированный. 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 Oh, even for me it was <laughs> hard to pronounce. Good luck. For example, консервированная кукуруза, corn, or консервированный горох, or консервированные помидоры, грибы, огурцы, whatever you like to be canned, you can use uh, the adjective консервированный. Okay? Well, that's it. Uh, I think this is all about um, vegetables. In my next video, we are going to talk about food in general and what we eat for breakfast, dinner, lunch. We are going to widen our um, vocabulary list. So if you don't want to miss it, subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Пока-пока!